Hi everybody, my name is Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making the cutest cake. It is a panda cake that is holding up a little cake. It is so cute. I think this cake would be perfect for a baby shower, or maybe a birthday party. And I am very excited to show you all how I have made this cake today. Also, if you are new here, please be sure to subscribe so you do not miss out on any future fun baking videos. All right, let's get started on this cute cake. Let's start by building the structure. So this is my threaded rod and it's 12 inches tall. And I also have here some corresponding nuts and washers and these are lock washers. And my board here is just a piece of MDF and I have drilled a hole right in the center and it also has wooden feet. And then I covered it in aluminum foil tape. And these are my boards. I have a six inch and a four inch and I have holes in those that are kind of off center. And you also need one more board later and I will show you that in just a bit. So I am going to push my threaded rod down into the hole in the center and secure it with the nut and washer and the lock washer. And then repeat the process with another washer, lock washer, and then nut. And then you'll want to get those nice and tight. To tighten it up, you'll need wrenches or pliers. Just grab onto one end with the pliers and tighten with the other and that should get super tight and just tighten it until that lock washer is completely flat. Let's move on to the cake. You will need four six inch cakes and then two half spheres. And then I am going to trim off the top and also tort the six inch layers. Now we don't want the cake to touch this metal threaded rod. So I'm gonna start covering it up and I needed to cover just like maybe four or five inches right there on the bottom. And you'll wanna make sure you get all of those metal pieces covered, including the washer and nut. And then I'm wrapping the rest of the threaded rod with some plastic wrap so that my cake won't touch it. That is perfect. And then I'm going to start layering up my cake and I am just alternating the chocolate and vanilla, but you can do any flavor, any cake that you like. This cake that we're building right now is the bottom of the panda. So really we just need two layers of cake and then one half sphere. And then I'm gonna pull that plastic off and then I need to add some more aluminum foil tape because I did not add enough earlier. So I'm just adding a couple more inches of the tape. And to protect the cake, I'm sliding down a piece of parchment paper to cover it and I start adding another round of nuts and washers. So add a nut, a washer, and I forgot to add a lock washer there, but it was not a big deal. I didn't really need it. And I slide down my four inch board that I covered in foil tape and then I lock it into place with another washer, lock washer, and nut. And once again, cover up the threaded rod and the metal pieces. It looks like I'm going up about another four inches or so. I wiped some buttercream on the board and then I remembered to cover the top of the threaded rod with plastic wrap. I don't wanna forget that. And then I started stacking up the cakes for his head, which are one six inch and the last half sphere. And don't forget to cover the metal underneath the board too, because we're about to add Rice Krispies here in this area. So I made a batch of Rice Krispie treats and I pressed them into a half sphere cake pan. And now I'm taking those Rice Krispies and I'm sticking it up underneath the board. So you can use piping gel or maybe melted marshmallows to get it to stick into place. And now that I have the basic shape of my panda, I'm going to cover it completely in chocolate ganache. Just use an offset spatula to smooth that onto the cake. And then you can also use a flexible plastic smoother to get it nice and smooth. Before I cover the cake, I'm spritzing it with water, or you could also use piping gel if you want. And one more thing, I almost forgot to cover the exposed threaded rod, so don't forget to do that. And I rolled out a sheet of modeling chocolate and I'm placing it right on the top of the cake. So I'm just gonna do the head first, and then I am kind of folding the modeling chocolate together and pressing it together on the sides. And then I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut it down and trim it and smooth that out and blend it together with maybe a gloved hand or whatever smoother you have. And same thing for the bottom, just cover it completely with a sheet of modeling chocolate and trim it down and then blend that seam together in the neck area. You can use your hand or one of my favorite tools called the sugar shapers. And this is a fondant smoother and that will also help smooth out that modeling chocolate too. 
And now that it's completely covered, I'm going back and I'm just using this little tool to make little scratches all over it to make it look hairy. But you could use whatever tool you have. I don't know what this one is called. I think it's just like a pottery tool, I'm not sure. So you could use anything like a scrub brush or maybe just a knife to scratch it up. When I make these cute animal cakes, I always like to give them these big eyes because I think they're adorable. So I'm just cutting out different size circles and I'm attaching those to the cake. And to give it more detail, I'm going back in and I'm just painting in some little lines on the irises. I think that always is so pretty and then I'm outlining it in a darker teal. And once I have that finished, I'm moving on to the cute little eyelashes. These are just made out of little pieces of modeling chocolate. And I'm also adding a modeling chocolate nose and a cute little mouth. And I'm going back to the eyes and I'm adding some little white circles that look like little light reflections. And to finish off the face, I'm adding a dusting of food color powder to his cheeks and a little modeling chocolate ear. Okay, so this board that I'm cutting here is for the cake that the panda is holding up in the air. So I'm cutting a hole in the center of it, but actually the hole should have been off center. And you will see me fix this here in just a little bit. And this cake is just like stacking up a regular cake. I'm using chocolate and vanilla cake with a layer of American buttercream frosting in between each layer. And once I have that completely stacked up, I'm covering it in chocolate ganache, just completely cover it on the top and the sides and smooth it out with a bench scraper. I let my ganache set up for a while and once it was hardened, I went back and I used a hot uh, offset spatula to kind of scrape away that top edge of chocolate ganache. And once you get all the way around the cake, you are left with this beautiful sharp edge on the top. Okay, let's get this cake covered in fondant. I have colored my fondant a light teal color, which I thought was pretty and went well with the panda colors. So I'm rolling it out and then I am draping it over my rolling pin and then I'm unrolling it onto my cake. And you can get the fondant to stick to the cake with water or piping gel. To smooth out the fondant, I'm opening up the pleats and smoothing it out with my palms while also turning my turntable. Okay, now that I'm down to the bottom, I'm going to use my fondant smoother to smooth out the top and sides. Just run that smoother all around the cake until you are happy with it, and then cut away the excess fondant. To get a nice clean edge on the bottom of the cake, I'm going to flip it over, and then I'm using my hands and smoother to push the fondant straight up, and then I'm using a razor blade to cut away the fondant from that edge to get a nice perfect cut. Let's move back over to my panda to prepare to add the next cake. And just like before, I'm adding another round of nuts and washers to lock in my six inch round board. So I added a nut and a washer and then I covered it with aluminum foil tape. And then I added my wooden six inch board and then I locked it into place with another washer, lock washer and nut. And then I tightened it up as tight as I could get it. And don't forget to make it food safe by adding the aluminum foil tape. Before I add the cake, I decided to add the panda's arms and legs. These are made out of modeling chocolate. And if you do not like using this much product, you could always make them out of Rice Krispie treats um, and then cover them in fondant or modeling chocolate. I usually just take off the big pieces of modeling chocolate before serving it, so it doesn't bother me. Okay, and this is when I have finally noticed that I made this hole in the wrong spot, so I'm just using my knife to cut a bigger hole. Next, I'm spooning some melted candy melts onto my board. And once I have it completely covered, I'm moving my cake over onto it and that should hold it right into place. I wanted to keep it simple on the decorating of this cake, so I am adding a ribbon. And to get it to stick, I just added a little dab of melted candy melts and I am wrapping it around and sticking it on there. I decided to top this cake off with a beautiful bow. This video is getting a little bit long, so I decided to cut out the bow making part, but I'm gonna come back to it and I will make a short video explaining how to make a beautiful bow like this. And I'm finishing off the decorating of this cake with some cute little heart sprinkles. And I also added some black sprinkles to the beautiful bow. And the last thing I'm going to do is decorate my board. This is chopped up coconut that I colored teal using airbrush colors. And I'm going to finish off the board with a beautiful ribbon that matches the ribbon on the cake. My cute panda cake is finished finally. This one did take a long time to make, but I am very pleased with the outcome. Sometimes at the end of making one of these cakes, I look at it and I can really see my personality shining through. 
Thank you all for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed watching the making of this cute panda cake. And I will be back very soon, hopefully next week with another baking video. Bye everybody.